Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom CSS, HTML and JavaScript on your Squarespace website. Let's just get started right away and I have this sample website that I can use for this demonstration. So if you want to add custom CSS, HTML or JavaScript, you need to decide if it's something that you want to add for all the pages or it's something that you want to add for a specific page. So first off, let's see how you can add CSS for your entire site. So maybe you want to add something that will affect multiple pages. So if you want to do that, the best way to do it is you'll just come here under design and here under custom CSS, you'll put the CSS for that purpose. Maybe you want to change the background color for various items, for various items on your page. Let's just copy this first of all. And I want to preview this. So if you want to preview this website on your free trial mode, make sure you go into your settings and you change the availability settings. And under availability settings, you're going to see that you can add a password that you can use to preview your website. So let's say I want to change, I want to add maybe a background color to this. I can inspect this element. So I'm assuming that you know how to use the web developer tools on your website. So I'm assuming that there's only, there will only be one H1 element on every page. So wherever there is H1, I want to give it a background and I can add H1 here. I'm just using this to generate the CSS for this and I can add background color. And we can make it black. We can actually make it something that is opaque, something that is transparent or translucent. And I'm going to use RGBA. So that will give it that. And we can also make sure that we have some padding around it. Okay, so let's say that we want to add this on our Squarespace. I'm going to copy it and I can go back into my Squarespace. And if you're working with the custom design CSS, you don't need to do anything else. You just need to paste in the CSS in there and then you can save. And once you save, the changes will take effect. So that's the first way. If you want to add CSS, you can add it on this end. So for any page that we create and this style, will apply. It doesn't matter which page we use. Let's go back and we can see how we can add it on individual pages. So if you want to add CSS on, on an individual page, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into the settings of that page, maybe here under home new. You can go into the settings for that page and then you'll come into advanced settings. So anything that you add here will be injected at the very top. It will be injected at the very top of your page. Note that this is HTML. So what you need to add here will need to be HTML and the HTML style tags will enable you to add CSS. And as soon as you close it, you can see, you can, it will automatically get closed and you can add the CSS here. This is the CSS that we added on the other part. Let me just try and change the color to blue. So that's how you can add CSS on this specific page. You cannot add anything that, that will not affect the body. If you want to add HTML on this page, what you can do is you need to go into editing the page. And when you're editing the page, just click here to add content. And if you want to add content, you can use HTML. Where is it code? You can just add the code that you want to add inside here. 
any code that you add maybe you want to add div you want to embed something perhaps you want to embed something you can embed that using this like for instance let's just go to youtube and see if we can get a youtube embed code which will be given in form of html and then we can come here and see if we can embed it so if you want to embed mailchimp you want to embed get response any form that you usually get embed code for you can embed it just like this get the embed code and then choose the code block and then you can paste in the code here for instance let's use youtube so i'm here on my youtube channel and let me just see which video i can use here and i can just click on that and i can use this as a sample for this click on share then click on embed and if you want to change any settings for your embed you can do that but for us for us i'm just going to copy i'm just going to copy the code without doing anything further and then i'm going to come back here and i'll just paste in the code and once i paste in the code i will apply and once you apply you'll see that your video has been embedded here that's one way if you want to add code in here and let's say you want to add javascript inside here let me delete that no i'll just leave it anyway and we can add another so just go over here i'm on squarespace 7.1 and on 7.1 this is what you need to do to add any block just wait until you see that and once you see that you can add the code block and if you want to add javascript inside here you need to add javascript using the html tags and you're going to use script you can add your javascript inside here so this is if you have javascript that maybe you've copied from somewhere and you want to add here if i save the page we can come in here and uh, let's go back here and just see if it's if it's bringing out that so i'll close this and if i reload the page you can see the javascript that we added is also being affected so that's how you can add javascript on a page if you want to add javascript if you want to add external javascript you'll just do it the same way maybe you want to add some external javascript i can just do a sample here using jquery let me just google this because i don't want to type it let me just copy let me open this link let me see if they have one that i can use here yeah nice so if you want to add an external script you can just add it this way so let me use this for example for an example so if you want to add any kind of javascript this is how you can do the external the external linking to your javascript i want to add external an external javascript i can do it on the i can do it on a specific page if you want to add the javascript on a specific page just do it the same way we did with html you can add it on a specific page and this will get added at the top So this is going to add this jquery and you can add your code so if you want to use this to write any kind of code using jquery then you can do that and you must add script so you'll put all your jquery co your code inside here that will utilize jquery you can use it inside here so this can be used to bring any javascript that you want to use any javascript you can bring it in this way if you want to add javascript on all your pages maybe it's something that you want to happen on every single page okay i cannot copy this if you want to save the changes you can click there save the changes i'll remove that later for now just forget about it so let's see how you can add javascript on all pages if you want to add it on all pages you'll come here under settings and then you're going to go into advanced 
and then you'll go into code injection and code, inj code injection is only available on business and commerce plans so you can do that here just paste in what you've added so you can see there i've added jquery and this is my custom code I can also add it on the footer. So if you add it on the footer, it will be added on the footer for all your web pages. If you add it on the header, it will be injected on the header of all pages. You can also add CSS and HTML here. CSS and HTML that you need to add, you can add them here to be added on every single page. So that's the job of the code injection. If you want to add any code that will be on every page, you can use it. You can use the code injection. And if you want to add CSS on every page, you can also use the custom CSS in the design settings like I showed you earlier. So if there's anything that you need me to do a tutorial about, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. If you have any questions, feel very free to let me know. And I will see how to assist you. See you next time in another video.